sense where people like you and I, ordinary people who lived ordinary lives, they also struggled with sin, they also struggled with many other things that you and I struggle with. But what made them sense was the fact that even though they struggled with sin, suffering and many other things, they remained open to God's guidance. And so whenever they fell, they remembered to rise and to continue struggling on. They never remained there. And so because of that, the church proclaimed them saints. And they are up there in heaven, they intercede for you and I. Sainthood does not begin after death. They never became saints after death. Their sainthood started before they died. The way they lived their life is what made them saints. You and I can also be proclaimed saints, but our sainthood has to begin now, the way we live our lives. And when we say we, we have to begin now, it doesn't mean that we have to, to live perfect lives, because sainthood is not about perfection. Sainthood is about being open to God's guidance, being open to God's promptings, so that whatever we do while we are still alive is always guided by God himself. But when we take God's position ourselves, such that we begin to guide our lives, we begin to, to do things as if the master plan of our lives belongs to us, then we are far from, from being saints. Let us remember always that we are called to be holy and not to be perfect, because holiness has nothing to do with perfection. No one can be perfect. But you and I, even with sin in our lives, we can still live holy lives when we open our hearts to the guidance of God. We pray indeed that as we continue to pray for the intercession of all the saints up there in heaven, that we too may be granted the grace that we need for us to live holy lives, so that one day, by God's grace, we may also join the company of saints in heaven. Amen.